It's that time of the year again, when we look back at the highlights, the setbacks, the breakthroughs, and the missed opportunities of the past 12 months, and take stock of where electric aviation truly stands. First, the highs. Overall, 2025 has been a landmark year for electric aviation in general and for EV tolls in particular. For years, A-taxis faced heavy skepticism. While endurance and range records were regularly announced, they were almost always achieved without anyone on board. Manned flight remained the missing piece. 2025 changed that narrative. This year, we finally saw piloted flights from Joby, Archer, and Vertical Aerospace. Even more impressively, Beta's Elia went a step further, achieving the first passenger-carrying flight, a moment that moved electric aviation from promise to proof. Another major development was Honda stepping out of the shadows. Honda is no newcomer to aviation. The Honda Jet is widely regarded as one of the finest aircraft in its class. From the outset, Honda made a deliberate choice to pursue hybrid propulsion, centering their design around gas turbine generator. While much of this work happened quietly, 2025 marked their public emergence, with Honda showcasing both their aircraft and their ambition at the Dubai Air Show. Their entry is a major confidence boost for the urban air mobility sector. Honda's reputation alone lends credibility in a space still earning public trust. If Honda emerged from stealth mode, China entered beast mode. At the Zhuhai International Air Show, China made its intentions unmistakably clear. They aimed to dominate the low-altitude and urban air mobility economy. The concept of low-altitude economy was on full display with Chinese manufacturers presenting counterparts to nearly every EV toll configuration from tilt rotor and tilt wing to multi-copters. Their advantage goes beyond funding. Chinese companies benefit from strong government support, streamlined regulation, and deep integration across the supply chain. Battery manufacturers are developing packs specifically for electric aviation. CATL's work with Autoflight being the prime example, giving Chinese OEMs a powerful logistical and technical edge. Meanwhile, the industry's hydrogen ambitions cooled as more manufacturers shifted towards hybrid architectures using sustainability aviation fuel to meet sustainability goals while maintaining practical range and performance. Now, let's focus on the lows. Not everything moved upward. The most significant setback of the year was Lilium's insolvency. Revived briefly at the tail end of 2024, the company ultimately burned out one final time, an unfortunate reminder that ambition alone is not enough in this capital-intensive industry. There was also an incident during Xpeng's land aircraft carrier demonstration where two aircraft, Xpeng Aero HD, collided at the Chengchun Air Show. One person was injured while spectators remained safe. This served as a sobering reminder of how critical safety and operational discipline remain. Let's now look at the design evolution and the new excitement surrounding the electric aviation sector. Vertical Aerospace announced a redesign using the VX4 only for its test campaign and replacing it with the Velo, a cleaner, more mature aircraft shaped by hard-earned lessons. On the personal aviation front, excitement surged around two designs the Yanis-1 by X-Control System, and the Zabada Air Scooter. What truly caught the attention was their extended flight time, that is, having practical endurance at last. Adding to the momentum, Jetson-1 finally began deliveries, turning years of anticipation into reality. In the cargo space, Pipistrel's Nuva V300 successfully completed its first hover flight test marking a meaningful step towards electric and hybrid logistic solutions. Taken together, 2025 was not just a year of headlines, it was a year of validation. Pilots flew, passengers rode, designs evolved, new players arrived, others fell away, and the industry grew tougher, sharper, and more realistic. Electric aviation is no longer asking if it will work. It is now answering how, where, and how soon. And if 2025 was the year electric aviation proved it could fly with people on board, then the years ahead may well be when it proves it can scale, endure, and transform the way 
we move through the sky. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.